Hello, I'm Morris Dimba and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you another way of arranging a set of ties with four pieces of ties inside a, con inside a concrete column. And also remember the term tie is used to define the transverse reinforcement provided in column where the primary mode of load transfer is compression. Therefore, the requirement of transverse reinforcement is primarily to prevent the premature buckling of individual bars and to confine the concrete core. Another major reason is to pro uh, for providing lateral reinforcement in column is to hold the primary reinforcement in place before and during the concreting. Normally, the longitudinal bars could be could be as long as a six meters, uh, ten meters, twelve meters, and would sway in a random direction if they were not tied properly or uh, properly together. Therefore, we can confidently say that the lateral reinforcement is used to tie individual bars together in position, and thus the name ties comes in, and uh, we are going to tie all these vertical uh, steel bars together to to keep them in position now we'll get started right away here and uh, i'll come to concrete right here at the uh, at uh, i mean on the menu bar here then after clicking concrete here i'll be able to access the rebar tool here then i'll click on that drop down arrow right there and come to bar group here I'll click on bar group so the moment i click on bar group and uh, i'll go straight to click on the part i want to reinforce i want to reinforce this uh, column base or a column i'll click on this now uh, i want to start placing my ties now I'll, I'll i would like my first bend to start from this end i'll snap on top on i'll stamp on top of this uh, uh column uh, i mean bar then go all the way then go all the way to this end. Now I'll go back to concrete right here. I'll then come to rebar. Then I'll pick on uh, bar group here. Then I'll come straight to pick on the part I want to reinforce. I want to reinforce this column. I'll pick on the column. Then I would like to start my bend from this end. I want my tie to start from this end. I'll snap on that spot on on that. Uh, vertical bar then I'll go all the way to this end I'll go all the way to this end to this uh, mid midpoint then come to the middle bar here then come all the way to this end I'll snap on that spot uh, then go to my initial spot then uh, I'll close my polygon right there then I'll press my middle button on the mouse then I'll give an orientation right there from this end. To, I'll go all the way to the bottom end here. I'll snap right there just to give the, the direction of my of my of my ties. Now the quarter number here they've gone below, so I I have to reduce this. I'll double click on this. Once I've double clicked on that, I'll just scroll scroll down and under this rebar group then scroll down and i'll reduce these to four or just leave it at three right there i'll click on empty screen and uh, close this now i'll scroll right there then i'll go to the next uh, tie i'll come to concrete here and click on concrete and, and, and click on rebar and then pick on the bar group I'll pick on the part to reinforce. I want to reinforce this. Then I want my first tie to start from this end. I'll snap on that on that vertical bar. Then I'll go st straight to the other end. Then I'll snap on this middle bar. Snap on that. Then target this end. I'll snap on top of that. I'll go straight to my initial point and snap on that. I'll, and uh, press my middle button on the mouse then I'll uh, give uh, the path to follow I'll give that path 
let me just turn this in a position that I, I will be able to see it clearly I want to snap on that spot then turn this round I right click and come to interrupt then I'll direct that to that bottom end I'll right click and exit by clicking interrupt now I'll, I'll rotate this once again I'll rotate about that spot then I'll check how this is appearing or how does it look how has it how has it arranged itself on this column now our first tie was this the second tie was this now let me just check check the settings double click on that tie then uh, this after double clicking will take you to reba group pro, uh, dialog box here i want to change this to to uh, 60 make it 60 perfect and uh, i'll leave that i leave that at 70 just double click on that and check that then i'll come to cover thickness here and change that to uh, 70. remember the size of our tie is uh, uh, 12 uh, 12 uh, 12 millimeter dia and the grade is uh, h and also you can change the size by just picking on one of these and also if you like to go to the dialog box itself where you can change you can pick on another grade instead of H grade you can just uh, click on this radio button just ad uh, adjacent to size then it will take you to this dialog box where you will be able to pick on another grade if you prefer that then uh, let me just close this because I don't intend to change the grade of my steel I'll just use that one now I'll click on empty screen just remove my uh, uh, the selection that selection or to deselect what I've selected now I'll come back to concrete right here and pick on Riba. Under Riba, I'll click that drop down arrow, then pick on bar group right there. Then I'm going to the second, uh, the third, uh, the third set of my ties. Now the third set, I would start. I'm going to start my bend from here. Then prior to picking the part where I would like to start my tie first of all I have to pick on the part on the on the concrete column I want to reinforce I'll pick on the concrete column right there then I'll come straight to the to the vertical bar I, I would like my ties to start from I'll snap on top of that bar and uh, go all the way to this end right here and snap on top of that bar then come here and snap on top of this one then go all the way to this end right here I'll snap on top of this then go to my initial point where I'm going to close the polygon and uh, terminate my tie at that and at that spot. I'll snap right there. Then I'll press my mild button on the mouse right there just to close my polygon. Now, having done that, I want to pick two points to indicate the range to reinforce. I want to pick this point just to give uh, the direction in which or, or, or which I intend to to direct all my ties or to define the path or uh, define the path for your ties so I'll define that straight line as my path then uh, I'll click on that spot I'll right click and click interrupt just to exit from that uh, command then this is the third tie I'll double click on this to adjust its settings then I'll zoom out. Then uh, I'll come to I'll come to cover thickness here, and I would like to change this to I would like to change this to ninety. Change this to ninety. I'll click ninety right there. Perfect. Prior to that, let me just check how it is uh, It has it is appearing here. Just let me just turn that, and that's okay. Then I'm going to the next tie. I'm going to the next tie. I'll right click and interrupt just to take me off that command. Now I'm going to the fourth tie. I'm come, come back to concrete right, right here and come to rebar. Then pick on the bar group. I'll pick on the part or the or, or, uh, I'll pick on the column I want to reinforce. I'll pick on this column. Then uh, I want to start my 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 band from that spot. I want to start my tie from that spot. Then I'll go to the second one here, the second uh, vertical bar. Then I'll go all the way to this end. I'll go all the way to this end. I'll snap on top of that. 
then come all the way to this end and snap on top of this right here then uh, come all the way to this end and snap right here i'll snap right there and press my mute button on the mouse and uh, to the and uh, after doing that i'll define the path i'll define the path for my ties i want it to follow this path and go all the way to the bottom end right here then uh, i'll right click and uh, click interrupt just to exit from that command then from there, let me just turn this round and come to navigate and I want to rotate this. I'll turn that round. If you take a look, there's a slight clash here. There's a collision of these bars. I'll double click on these and uh, I want to change. I'll come to cover thickness right here and change this to 80. Give it 80 and click OK. There's a slight clash once again. I'll, I'll, look, I'll, I'll undo that. Then I'll come back here and give it 100. 100 would be okay. I'll click modify. Perfect. I'll close this dialog box. Then I'll come to navigate here and turn this round. Perfect. There we are. Then from this end, I'm going to just turn this round just to have a look on what has been done. Or I can take you to the, the, the top view of this. I'll zoom it close. Click on empty screen so that you can, can, you can remove all the selection or any part that has been selected. So this is, uh, this is the first set. This is the second set. This is the first set of the tie. This is the second set of the tie. Then uh, I came back to the third set of the tie, this one here. Then I came to the final fourth tie, which is this one. Remember, this is another way of uh, arranging the ties inside the column. Now, let me just switch back to the isometric view. And I want to uh, increase the height of this, of this column. Now, I'll just come here and double click on the, on the column just to take me to the uh, column concrete column properties where I'll be able to access the properties of this column. If I want to change the length and width of the column, I can't change it from here, but now I don't want to change the length and width because I've already laid my, or I've already arranged my ties and all my vertical steel bars are in place. W what I want to increase now is the height. I'll take this height to six meters. Then uh, I'll just click modify. There we are. And if you take a look here, it has gone to a height of six meters, but the steel bar are not going, are not distributed all the way to the bottom end of of of, of the vertical bars. Reason being is we chose uh, reason being the type of uh, the type of steel distribution. We picked a different one. Let me just turn, come down, and uh, I'll close this. Then I'll come back to to the ties here, and uh, I'll just pick one of them. I'll just pick one set of ties. I'll pick on that. I'll double click on that. Then uh, this will take me to Riba Group pro uh, Properties dialog box. Then I'll just scroll down to Distribution. On the distribution here, we picked uh, a, a different creation method. We used by exact spacing that we, we've we've defined or we've fed that we required that we needed. I mean, we needed three at uh, at two hundred millimeter center to center. So it uh, all those ribbers will not be populated automatically to the space available at the bottom end of this column. Unless we increase the number uh, number of ties at this this distance center to center of two uh, this distance of two hundred center to center. Now we can increase this to thirty four. We need thirty four of these bar uh, of these ties at two hundred center to center. Now once you've done that, just click modify and everything will be distributed down to the bottom end here, depending on uh, your measurements. 
of center to center between i mean of center to center of, of, the, of your ties it has come all the way to the bottom end here and i'll go back and uh, do the same to the rest of the ties i'll click on the second set double click on the second set then i'll come to distribution under uh, under distribution I'll pick on the creation method then uh, i'll come to exact spacing value and change the number of still i uh, need n number of ties to be 34 at a distance of 200 center to center i'll click on that i'll go to the next and double click on that then uh, i'll be able to change the number instead of three and i need 34 at a distance of 200 millimeter center to center i'll click on that then i'll come to the final one this final or the fourth tie double click on that then i'll change it from 3 to 34 at the same distance 200 millimeter center to center of the tie and click modify then i'll close this now then click on the empty screen just to remove all those selection i'll zoom down here and check this is what i've come up with and i'll come and turn this round to check what has been done this is what we come up, we've come up with i'll come to rotate and i'll to and i'll pick on this and turn this round like this let me just turn it round so that you can see it clearly perfect remember this is another and uh, is another way I mean is another alternative way of arranging uh, four sets of ties inside a concrete column I'll right click and turn this round so that you can see it clearly or I can switch back to my plan view so that you can see it from the top end and this is how it looks this is how it looks Thanks a lot for watching this uh, this uh, channel and uh, let's meet on the next presentation. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm Morris, Morris Dimba and bye-bye. Let's meet then.